ओम शांति बाबा साकार मुरली मार्च ट्वेंटी थर्ड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी बाप दादा बधु वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा एसेंस ऑफ द मुगली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन बिकम सोल कॉन्सियस एंड यू विल इजीली डेवलप द स्पेशलिटी स्पेशलिटी ऑफ breaking off your relationship with the old world and forging a relationship with the new om shanti brother yeah the word is wrong forging for this one is fake or forgery <laughs> yeah i i checked the dictionary no forge matlab to connect yeah what the dictionary says is <laughs> forgery and fake No, the the point is, we will see the dictionary also. Suppose you want, because yeah. force means connect, forging means to enforce something like this. That is C A. It is G. F O R G E. Yeah. Forge. Forge means to make or shape a beating in a fire furnace and beating, hammering it. Force means love to make it strong by hammering. Create, mm-hmm. see, create relationship or new condition, see. Yeah. Yeah. So it is a relationship. <laughs> different, different meaning. Ah, no? no, that's okay. Baba said forging means connecting, correcting, yeah. correct, creating a relationship. So Baba said forging a relationship with the new world. So soul conscious means we have to develop specially, you can say, speciality of breaking of our relationship from the old world. That is. we are not breaking the relationship we are transforming the relationship from you can say body to the soul your love for the one father will be poor then and then if we become soul conscious then and then we can remember baba and our love can be forged question the intellect yoga of which children can remain constantly connected to the mother and father from beyond so baba says what are the characteristic what kind of children are whose intellect yoga always connected with baba constantly connected with baba answer first those who die alive <clears throat> those who die alive is those who take a new birth from this body only body not changing only we are taking birth through knowledge second and remain constantly engaged in doing godly service if we remain you can say godly service we have only thought of baba and so on third those who while living at home with their families do the service of connecting the intellects of everyone in yoga to the path so we have to live in the family there is no question of living the family it is not a physical hot yoga baba so you have to live with your family do your you can say create your livelihood and then do service of connecting intellect of everyone with father and fourth who give others the enlightenment they have received from the father and so others the way to become pure in order to make them into the masters of the world so enlightenment and without enlightenment nobody can become pure and without being pure no one can become the masters of the world the intellect yoga of those children is automatically connected to the they don't have to make much effort so four four things <clears throat> those who die alive second who are constantly engaged in godly service third live in family and connect everyone to the father and fourth give enlightenment so with that give purity and make them masters of it song who is the mother and who is the father om shanti what is the meaning of the song it is said forget your physical mother and father and your friends and relatives etc forget means with the help of intellect and connect your intellects in yoga to your true mother and father who is the creator of the world our physical mother and father worldly mother and father they are creator of the world limited world what our family is is the unlimited father you now have to break up your relationship with those parents and your friends and relatives etc and connect yourself to the one that one is also called the mother and father 
you are the mother and father and we are your children everyone says this to the one only one everyone's physical parents are different so everyone is telling that is the supreme soul that one is the mother and father of the whole of bharat that is of the whole world therefore you have to belong to the mother and father from beyond and leave your worldly friends and relatives that is leave from the intellect not physical living for this you need the knowledge of how to become soul conscious unless you become soul conscious it is very difficult to live and become free without becoming soul conscious we cannot live from our intellect those bodily beings and we can be complete still we are in their consciousness we are not free miss we are in bondage <clears throat> you have to break off your relationship with this old world in our intellects and form them with the new world this is a speciality baba the this speciality baba is teaching no one can teach this speciality in this world to break off relationship with one limited home <clears throat> and forge a connection with another limited home is very easy somebody dies take the new birth eh? then they are disconnecting from one home and connecting to another limited both are limited you break and connect in every birth birth you leave one set of parents and friends and take another when you share your body you have new parents new friends new relatives and new gurus etc here it is a question of dying a lot no physical dying here i was say die a lot while in the same body we are taking new birth with the help of the father and mother brahma through mouth you are adopted while alive by the mother and father from beyond you have to forget all the iron age of parents etc that one is the father but how he is also the mother he is very deep matter <clears throat> the father adopt this body and makes you his children through this one however some children repeatedly forget this on the path of ignorance they never forget their parents in the you can say ignorance or in physical world they forget this mother and father that is mother and father beyond because this is something new we cannot see not physical something new you have to connect your intellect in yoga to that mother and father that is beyond and then remain engaged in doing service just as the father is concerned about service so you children should also be just as concerned as concerned like father it is said what is said god was concerned to make the world new or create a new world so this is such a great concern yes you can say <clears throat> give the thoughts he has come the thought that okay i will go and create a new world the unlimited father has unlimited concern to purify everyone not only one not only you can say bharat was all the world even including five elements he has to teach raj yoga for that pure world of heaven without raj yoga nobody can become pure and without becoming pure nobody can go to the world of heaven and if we are becoming pure and those who are not becoming pure baba says punishment is there but he cannot take back home without you can say purity he has to teach this to so many the intellect yoga of everyone has to be connected to the father this is the business of us children father's business that is our business the father says while living at home with your families you children have to do service have to do sanyasis are con- concerned to liberate others from the happiness that is like the droppings of a crow and to make them pure even sanyasis believe that the happiness of this world is just like dropping of a crow because they have not seen the happiness of or they have not experienced the happiness of the heaven so they never believe in that kind of happiness so they say 
it is very very temporary what is available in this world because they came at the end of the copper age shankaracharya ji came before 101500 years so before the end of the you can say copper age is called 1250 years of iron age and well only 250 years before so end of the copper age sanyasis are concerned to liberate others from happiness that is like a dropping of the crow and to make them pure they have also a responsibility who oh, sanyasis to make have disinterest and make them pure otherwise how their clan will increase sanyasi clan because they are also so many they believe that they have to leave their homes and family they believe they believe in physical sanyas physical renunciation they don't understand that they have to leave the impure world they don't understand because they are in the same world it is only when the father comes and grants visions of the pure world that we break our connection with the impure world when brahma was not ready to leave dada when he was given a vision of destruction and construction both that is destruction and establishment then he left leave the business otherwise he was not ready to leave he wanted to leave but could not leave because too much money in the business so baba said when baba comes he grants vision then and then transformation takes place after seeing him we also learn day by day and we are also forgetting you can say everything with intel nevertheless they still consider themselves to be very responsible to be responsible and so they leave their homes and families and inspire so many others to have this interest and make them pure even sanyasi they have responsibility to create their followers because how the sanyas religion will go on so baba says it is they have responsibilities to inspire people so that they have a disinterest in this world they leave this world and they become sanyasis and make them pure their praise is also sung baba they have a great role in the drama if there weren't that religion of renunciation bharat would have been burned completely away on the pyre of lust so they have very important role to play the father sits here and explains who establishes that rajoguni renunciation and who establishes this satoguni renunciation baba explaining both their head was shankaracharya sanyasi is here and he too has had so many followers without followers how the religion can go ahead there would probably there have been hundreds of thousands or millions of them there is a great you can say army of the sanyasis if they hadn't remained pure the number of people following them would not have increased why they have number of pop people increased because they remain pure purity is the power to sustain everything starting from golden age to the iron age world. in between all religion they are coming new why they are flourishing because they remain pure purity the souls are coming fresh so pure as compared to us souls and they are making effort to remain pure also therefore the sanyasis have done some good deities are considered to be the first number the purest and sanyasis are considered to be the second number because their purity is physical everything depends on purity whole cycle is depend on purity purity is the mother of peace and prosperity the world has to become impure from pure and pure from impure whatever has happened in the past from golden age onwards is fixed in the dark baba said golden is an onward means baba is not establishing another one we are losing our power so building becomes automatically old it is the responsibility of baba only to create a new world that is by giving a new sanskars to the souls adhyay 9 clearly krishna indicates to arjuna whatever visions you have had on the path of devotion second by second you will have those same visions up to you again after a cycle the drama is printed already we cannot change that all of this is fixed in the drama 
you have to understand the drama and the cycle. Baba says, even Baba children, Baba says, you have to understand the drama and the cycle. Don't just sit down and think that whatever he is in the drama is fine. Baba said, no, without doing anything, you don't get anything. You have to do. So Baba said, don't think that, okay, it will happen in drama. If, it, if I, I am going to king, no, it will not happen automatically. We have to make efforts. All are actors in the drama. But still, but one still makes effort for his or her own livelihood. Everybody is making. No one can stay without making effort. All our actions are effort, nothing else. So Baba says, souls when coming in body, it has to make effort, no choice. So we have to make effort. Many people understand that this is a play and that we have come from the Supreme Abode to play our parts, but they are unable to explain this in detail. Shakespeare told, what he told, we all are actors on the world drama stage, but he don't know even how it is. They don't know which religion comes first and how the world is created. Nobody knows. Because of not knowing whether the new world is created or whether the father comes and makes the old world new, they don't know. They have shown annihilation and then shown a new world. This was the reason why instead of destruction, they show annihilation. The father comes and enlightens you about these things. Then you too are responsible for enlightening others. Just like sannyasis are doing the same thing, we have to do that thing. Otherwise, how our clan will increase, how we will get the fruit. There is so much service to be done. Therefore, service. The Father has shown you the path to the liberation and liberation in life for which you have been stumbling around on the path of devotion for half a cycle. The unlimited Father is concerned about how to make his salvation army grow and how to show everyone the path. So Baba is showing both the way. So they have everyone the paths so automatically our family, family of unlimited father, the salvation army will increase, number increase, quantity and quality both will increase. You children should tell everyone that the father has come, what we have to tell, father has come to teach Raj Yoga exactly as he did in the previous cycle. It is to him that people say salutation to Shiva. He is the highest of all and he decides in the supreme abode. He is not residing here. He is not in this anyone's body. He is beyond the body and world. All of us souls also reside there when we came before. Souls are always considered to be immortal. They never born or die. That's the reason people say, ne? All Krishna, Rama, they are different form of God. There is no question of different form because all souls are immortal. They can't change the form. Their role is fixed. Each soul has a part recorded in him. Look at your own soul, forget about others, and look at the souls of the main ones. When you look at a tree, that is genealogical tree, you think about its main foundation and its branches and twigs, both trees even physical tree. There are so many leaves that you cannot count them. It is possible to count the branches and twigs. Therefore, the foundation of this tree truly is of us it is. This tree's foundation has now decayed just like the foundation of a banyan tree. Nevertheless, so many branches have emerged. Leaves continue to emerge from the branches. Therefore, this to his such a big unlimited tree, that is human genealogical tree. You children know this, number wise, not all know same thing. According to the efforts you make, it isn't that someone's intellect thinks about this throughout the day, not possible. It is difficult for all the points to be, to be churned at the same time by your intellects. Nevertheless, these points continue to trickle into the intellects of those who churn the ocean of knowledge. Without that, knowledge cannot trickle and that was the reason why we indicated, you can say, trickling of water on Shiva. So he's not giving, you can say, knowledge at a time, step by step, drop by drop. 
when you have the tree in your intellect, you also remember the father, the seed. We too are residents of that place, that is sweet silence home, supreme abode. And then we are all rounders of this tree who come at the beginning and stay till end. When you reach your impure state of total decay, total tamopradhan, the whole tree also reaches that stage. Those who existed at the beginning have also now become old. The branches that come later on are also old. Now tree, whole tree is old. Whether it is new branches or you can say new beginning of the tree. Those who are serviceable are concerned about becoming Baba's helpers and changing human beings into deities once again. Our duty is to help Baba. And if we help, then and then we will get the fruit. Otherwise not. This has to be explained. You were deities. What would explain? You were deities and you then become warriors. Only you talk about your horoscope of 84 births. Not their horoscope. We don't know their horoscope. <laughs> Only when this thing continue to trickle into your intellects, will you be able to explain to others. So Baba said it is very, very necessary that to churn the knowledge, trickling with churning knowledge. You should think about how you children are Baba's helpers. So it should enter your intelligence. First, it should enter our intelligence. Forget about others. How you can explain the secrets of the drama to anyone, first thing. And second, how to connect their intellects in yoga to the father. And third, inspire them to make effort to change from human beings into deities. That is to show them the way to claim their unlimited inheritance from the father. Three things we have to turn in our intellects. How we can explain the secrets of Dharma to anyone. How to connect intellect yoga of others to the father. And third, how to inspire people to make effort to change from human beings into deities. Then and then we can become the, you can, we can get the true inheritance. Only those who have been shown the way by the father would show it to others. It's a responsibility. The father alone comes and teaches you Raj Yoga. That is, he opens the gates to liberation and liberation in life. Continue to churn the ocean of knowledge in this way throughout the day. You also have to imbibe a very sweet nature. You mustn't burn or die because of someone else's nature. You have to tolerate it, Baba said. Nature of everyone is different because all actors are different. Serve yourself. <clears throat> as much as possible, give time to doing service. Ask yourself, do I constantly say Baba, Baba? Ask yourself. Baba is concerned about unlimited service. What am I, a child of Baba, is doing? Ask the self. Say, Baba, Baba, and what? You can say, what am I? What kind of child am I? Who is doing Baba's service or not? I should do so much service. You have a lot of time. Baba says, we are wasting our time, too much time in social media, newspapers, TV, so many things. Baba gave a lot of time, but we are wasting. You should feel mercy for all the poor ones who are separated from the Father. They continue to stumble around and commit sin in the world. Some people divert you, divert you from the Father and confuse everyone, even to the children of Baba also. It is the duty of you, Brahmins, to give everyone knowledge and bring them in front of Baba. You Brahmins are the true children of the God of the we are true children of the true father. You have been given authority. You only have the knowledge of the Gita in your intellects. Those who can't explain cannot be called Brahmin. See, Baba is very straightforward. They would be called half caste or quarter caste Brahmin. Their name is Brahmin, but they do the business of Sudras. Their intellects are like those of Sudras. 
In Ajmer, there are the Pushkarni Brahmins. Ajmer, they are the biggest temple of Brahma. They are the ones who relate the Gita scripture. Oh, Brahmins. They are called Pushkarni Brahmins. That is their business. It is not their duty to go and eat at people's houses, what other Brahmins are doing. Their work is simply to read the scriptures and take alms. You are two Brahmins, children of the unlimited father, Prajapita Brahma. He is the father of the unlimited people. And Sri Baba is the father of all souls. This is the difference between two. Prajapita Brahma is here in this world. And he is the father of all the people. Known as Brahma, Adam, Adam, etc. Sri Baba is the father of all souls and from beyond this world. He is resident, he is the supreme abode, father's resident. He is the one who purifies impure, and this is why the whole world remembers him. Why? Because why remember? Because he purifies. When they say, Oh God, they have the incorporeal one in their intellects. However, the chains of the Guru strap them. They don't even know the occupation of the deities they worship. They worship them while considering them to be dolls. Why? They don't know their occupation, which is why it is called worship of dolls. So there is so much difference. Many people are confused about this. There is a difference of day and night between characters and features of deities and those of human beings. People saying you are full of all virtues and we are degraded sinners. They say this, so was, who was it who made them like they are? Who is there? And who has made them like they are? That is Rama. It is truly hell now. So can we once again become the master of heaven? Can we become? Because everything new to old, old to new. People never have this thought. You children too would never ever have wondered whether you could become like them. You simply continue to perform devotion. You are also not knowing. You know that you now have to become like those deities. You have to claim a high status in your kingdom. And this is why you are making effort. Effort for ourselves. Internally, you should be concerned about what status you would receive if you were to leave your body now. You can even ask, if I were to leave my body now, what status would I receive? Baba say, ask yourself. Baba would instantly tell you, you would receive a status worth a few pennies. Baba was very straightforward when coming in Brahma's body, Dada's body. If anyone you can say, say to Baba what I will become, Baba will tell immediately. And because he is the true father, you would claim a status worth eight annas, twelve annas, or even a worse self. Baba will sell it, tell him it. The status of the subject is said to be worse self. Look at your face in the mirror of your heart. Is there any monkeyish behavior in me? Baba, ask yourself. Impure arrogance is number one. You may conquer lust and anger, but arrogance of the body is the number one enemy. So Brahma Baba told last three sentences. What he told? Nirakari Bhava Nirvikari Bhava Nirankari Bhava. Nirakari in Korpuri. Nirvikari Vaisnes. And Nirahankari. That is no arrogance. That is body consciousness. Nothing else. It is very, very difficult. Sanyasis become, you can say, Sanyasi and leave their case particularly rust and anger. Try to leave. But their body consciousness is too much. So Baba said, here we have to become soul conscious. So only when your love is connected with, to the Father can you become soul conscious. The love of those who are body conscious cannot be connected. A lot of effort is required to renounce body consciousness. Those who are soul conscious remain very cheerful. The faces of those who are body conscious are like those of cops. Therefore, the first and the foremost thing is to become soul conscious. First and foremost, only then will the father help. Because without that, we cannot remember Baba. Many people remain voiceless, but they repeatedly forget that they are souls and that they have to stay in the members of the father. They fall in, the, they fail in this. 
how would you go back home if you wouldn't remain bodiless? You should be very concerned about doing service so that many people can be can be benefited. Wherever body conscious people go, they fail. Those who are soul conscious come back having the shot, having shot someone with an arrow. The others would feel that what so and so said was right. When your yoga is connected, you would also be concerned about doing service. And for that, you first of all have to explain about Alpha, about Baba, first of all. When you speak too much, they get bored. So Baba said, do the mind service, not teach, not tick, 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 tick more, Baba said. Otherwise, people will be bored. So Baba said, don't bore them. <coughs> When you speak too much, they are get bored. First of all, you have to explain about salutation to Shiva and also and find all souls reside. That is, you can say, sorry, and, and also three floors. Three floors mean three worlds. One is the incorporeal world where Shiva and souls are residing, where Supreme Soul, where the Supreme Father, one thing the world where he, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, and all souls resides. Others are corporeal world and the subtle region. There was the king, there was the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan in heaven. It doesn't exist now. History will then repeat. Previously there was an iron age. Then there was the golden age, and now history of the iron age is repeating. Everything in the cycle must be repeated. Therefore, the history of golden age will also repeat. If iron age repeating, golden age will repeat naturally. Only in this there is pleasure. Otherwise, no pleasure. These points are very good. Baba said, keep such points in your intellect. Such a, to, the, to all the children who are the decoration of the Brahmin clan, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Baba Dada, the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and spiritual children's love, remembrance, good morning, and says namaste to the spiritual father. Mithe mithe sikaladi bacho prati maat pita bab dada ka. Yatyar or good morning. Rohani bab ki rohani bacho ko namaste. Am rohani bacho ki rohani maat pita bab dada ko yatyar good morning. Or namaste. Om Shanti, brother. How do you say in uh, uh, Hindi what? to all the children who are the decoration of Brahmin clan? All to all the children to to sabhi Baba ke bache ko who are Brahman kul bhushan decoration of uh, Brahmin clan is Brahman kul bhushan one word only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are telling so many words. Because English, no? 26 alphabet. Yeah. It's a poor language as compared to Eastern world language because they have more than 38 alphabets, all languages. So they have more jumbling of alphabets, so more words. Mm -hmm. We have limited words. <clears throat> so it is a Brahman Kul Bhushan means you can say what we say, jewels of you can say Brahman clan. Essence for Dharana number one. You mustn't burn or die because of sanskars for natures of others. No jealousy, no anger, nothing. Else. Everybody's sanskars for nature are different. Make your nature very, very sweet and for that become tolerant. Point number two, in order to become a helper of the father, churn the ocean of knowledge. Churning is very, very important. Make your intellect, make your intellectual knowledge, make effort to remain soul conscious. This is the main effort. Blessing, may you have all relationships with the one father and bid farewell to Maya as an EG yogi. So what EG yogi does? He has all relationship with the father and you can say renunciate Maya. Baba explains, when you have a relationship with someone, your remembrance of that one becomes natural. To have all your relationship with the one father he is to be an EG yogi. By becoming an EG yogi, you bid farewell to Maya. When Maya leaves you, 
blessings up from the father then make you to move forward a great deal those who receive blessing from god and the brahmin family at every step is easily continue to fly how to fly baba so the way get the blessings of baba and blessings of family that is brahmin family slogan become a businessman who is always busy and you will have an income of multi millions at every step acha om om